CBS The Young and the Restless spoilers for the next two weeks, May 24th through June 4th. Amanda is shocked to hear Devon reveal about Sun and Imani's conversation. She's a victim of this purge. Amanda is being taken advantage of and she needs to be more alert of her grandfather's promises. Now the news concerns Sutton's case and will affect how Amanda feels her family. Victor realized the trouble Amanda could bring, so he took the initiative to meet with Amanda and tell the whole story of Richard's death. Amanda is still doubting the truth of the story though. Victor is not an honest person, he may be lying to Amanda in exchange for the peace of Newman Corporation. Maybe Victor is involved in Richard's death. Along with helping Amanda, Victor has a strategic discussion with Adam regarding Cyaxeries and digging down Chancecom. Their timing is almost perfect. Lily and Billy don't have time to talk about their happiness. They have to focus on the fight as soon as Adam and Victor get back to work. The couple found a place and officially moved in together. And now, Adam sends a war decoration to Billy. When Nick learns the truth about the trouble Kyle's in, he gives his son-in-law some advice. If Kyle dared to make Summer cry or get hurt, he would be left alone, and Nick lost of that for his daughter. The protective dad informs Summer he doesn't approve of her marrying Kyle. Phyllis also acted. She did her best to destroy Kyle and Tara's relationship. She wanted to falsify their DNA test results. However, Summer ends up turning against Nick, which infuriates him even more. Nick also went to see Jack. They came up with some workarounds for the situation, but remember, everything was caused by Kyle, and he's responsible for this affair. Thanks to Nick, Jack also learns the whole truth about Tara, Kyle, and Harrison. Kyle is waiting for the results, but Nate has delayed announcing them. Does he want to change it or not? Has someone called him and wanted him to do this? Other Young and the Restless tidbits include Sally finding a new partner in crime, and Abby confessing to Devon that she's not sure how she'll deal with surrogacy without Chance. Abby's very upset about Chance's attitude. Maybe she won't want to wait to see him. Divorce is likely the best way for Abby to receive the baby happily. On Friday, May 28th, we'll see Moses, Lily, and Devon walking around Genoa City in memory of their father. Now, nostalgic moments about Neil Winters will be shown. It's a tribute episode to our late legend. Some of Neil's close friends and loved ones are expected to join his children in the service. Victor, Nikki, Jack, Ashley, and Neil's nephew, Nate, will all be participating in the special.